Around the world, every day, higher education is becoming increasingly important to secure a healthy future for every child. To survive in this modern, fast-paced economy, young teenagers are learning earlier in life about the choices to make for their future. And are traveling the world in search of the key that will open the door of opportunity. In my country, girls are, it's difficult for girls to get education because not everybody supports the um, idea of a girl getting education. Meet Aperva, 19 years old, beginning her education in San Francisco, many miles away from home. I'm here studying abroad. It's still, there are still people who are there back home in my country who are telling my parents, why do you need to do something like this? They're not really uh, supportive of my parents, I guess, because they think that girls are just going to get married and they're going to leave. And then there's the problem of dowry and people are going to be like, you need to pay, uh, give dowry. How can you give dowry if you're spending all the money you're saving for dowry into something like a girl edu uh, getting educated? Because my parents wanted me to get a really good education. That is one of the reasons that they sent me to San Francisco State University. And because San Francisco is supposedly like the most diverse city. And when I'm living in a diverse city, I get more experience in, uh, and more exposure with people because I interact with people not only from my country, but from country from all over the world, which is not kind of possible in India. And when we are getting experience and exposure with other cultures, we are gaining more uh, knowledge about everything. And we know what's happening in every part of the world. And we are not just stuck in our own little, little community saying that, okay, this is the problem that we are facing and nobody's doing anything to help us. But we know what other people are facing and we know when we can be we can be strong enough to help those people facing those problems. So I'm not like only working to do something for my country, but I'm working to do something for the, for the whole world. Worldwide, centers of higher education provide the essential source of intellectual development for students. Equipped with old or new technologies, large or small, universities strive to bring their scholars a dynamic range of classes and activities, professors that offer cultural and historical comprehension, science and mathematics to understand the natural world, arts and communication to bring voice to the creative mind. This is the necessary foundation for competing in today's world. If we were all fighting for the same education, all in need of support for the same goals to bring knowledge, growth, and success to future generations, why don't we work together? This is where you come in. The United Nations Academic Impact Initiative seeks to unite all scholarly institutions around the world through sharing and supporting common values such as promoting intercultural relationships, advocating human rights, and encouraging socially responsible professional pursuits for students of every country. The UNAI is founded upon 10 basic principles that promote the United Nations Charter and keep all of us dedicated to education through education. We are asking you to take a primary role in a future for these students, a future ultimately for the entire world. The UNAI is looking to leaders and schools around the globe to join the over 400 universities that have already made the commitment. By unifying world education, step by step, we bring ourselves closer to sustainability, conflict resolution, preventing poverty, and world peace. If I do something and somebody else follows that and does something or somebody else does something and I follow that and do something, it's like all of us are coming together to do something for the whole world.
and making a change in the whole world and not just one person doing something for their own community or country.